So I've shot this video quite a while ago and I thought it would be worth giving it some editing and upload the video. I hope you enjoy it. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to adjust the speed of a non quartz locked cassette deck. And today's victim is the Tiac V9000, the manufacturer's top of the line deck in 1989. I really like how this thing looks and also the sound, obviously. Um, it sounds very, very clear and very authentic. I mean, it the difference, the difference between what is recorded on the tape and also the source, it's very small and it's almost indistinguishable. It's really nice. As always, uh, everything starts with the disassembly of the deck. Um, firstly, we need to remove the side panels made of wood. Really well constructed, really great finish. As I told you, um, I really like the looks of this of this device as well as the quality of the sound. So now we we remove the top cover to reveal all the internals. To be able to work on it. To adjust the speed of this cassette deck, I'm gonna use this homemade 3000 Hz test tape. And it is enough for me because it was recorded on the Quartz Lock cassette deck, which will make most of the recordings anyway. So if the other decks are going to play at the same speed of this uh, Quartz Lock cassette deck, it's fine for me. So the test tape is played by the deck and whatever it's played will be output and connected directly to the computer which runs a special software this is a software that can measure the frequency of the scene waves you have to carefully insert a small screwdriver in the back of the motor so that you can adjust the speed of the motor just like that So let's get started. I'm gonna set the tape on the deck, hit record here, the second camera, and hit play. So as you can see, the tape is running a bit slower than it's supposed to, and if I turn the screwdriver clockwise, it's gonna increase the speed, just like that, and if I turn the opposite, it's gonna decrease. So it's quite straightforward and uh, the adjustment is quite sensitive so we need to be a little bit patient I think it's gonna stabilize between 3007 to 3000 uh, I don't know 11 this is pretty much it a really simple adjustment you can do at home Well, not too fast. Please don't do that at home if you don't know what you're doing. As you have seen, um, the screwdriver was very close to the power supply where the voltages are higher and, well, you might get hurt or even die. 